You mentioned this earlier in our conversation here, but Governor Walz has faced criticism for the way that he handled protests in Minneapolis in the wake of George Floyd's murder. But after he called the National Garden a few days after the, the protest started, on June 1st, uh, Donald Trump specifically called out Tim Walls on a call with governors to praise him. He said this according to a transcript of the call. I know Governor Walls is on the phone and we spoke and I fully agree with the way he handled it the last couple of days. What do you make of Donald Trump's comparison there? Well, I think what he was recognizing is that after three days when uh, uh, Walls finally did call in the National Guard, the National Guard did their job and they ought to do the job and he was recognizing that. Uh, and, and, I, and I can tell you as a citizen here, we were hoping that he would have called in the National Guard uh, days before that. And he was asked to do that by the uh, Democratic mayor of Minneapolis. And, uh, but he didn't. And I think he didn't because the protesters or the rioters, they called themselves protesters at that time, they were claiming it was a nonviolent protest against excessive police force. And I think that was the kind of the uh, mantra going on on the street. And I think Governor Waltz was fearful that if he took uh, strong action to put down those protests, those riots, that he would be criticized by the leftist base of the, of the Democratic Party. And he was reluctant to do that. And it wasn't until it was clearly out of control that, that he finally agreed to call in the National Guard. And they came in and they did their job and they shut down the the protest, uh, but the city itself is still not recovered. Um, and because in the aftermath, he, along with many other Democrats, adopted this uh, philosophy that the real problem with crime in Minneapolis is not the out of control behaviors of, of uh, uh, criminals and gang members, it's that the, the police force is out of control. Well, that's just, again, uh, you talk to people who live in Minneapolis, they want a stronger police presence. They wanna feel safe as they go about their business. Uh, people are leaving the city. There's been a net loss of, of population from Minnesota to other states in the last two or three years. And I think it's because of these kinds of crazy policies of Governor Walz. Chairman, today is primary day in Minnesota. I'm sure you have talked to many constituents today and leading up to today. So what are they saying about Tim Walz being tapped on the Democratic ticket here? Well, I think in some respects, uh, uh, people are anxious to vote against him here in Minnesota. Uh, he's, uh, uh, his term as governor doesn't end until 2026, so there isn't really an opportunity uh, under normal circumstances to express their opinion about a, a governor who is uh, popular with Democrats. There's no question about that, but uh, if the polling is anywhere near correct, uh, he's very unpopular in terms of his policies with independent voters and certainly with uh, with Republicans. So I think uh, it may uh, work against the Democrats in their expectation that, that somehow this choice is going to help them carry Minnesota. It's, it's uh, revealing that they thought they needed to have a governor to uh, carry a state that hasn't voted for a Republican for president uh, in 52 years. But I, I, I think we will see uh, a, a strong turnout uh, in the general election, and I think people are looking to have an opportunity to express their displeasure with not only the Biden administration, but here in Minnesota with the Walsh administration. 